Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. And, uh-oh, what's this? Sonar. Good morning and happy new year. It is 2021. <laughs> so one of the things I'd like to do, like I always say, is just do more vlogs. Um, I've been on Christmas vacation, so didn't take any videos lately. So I figured why not start a new vlog today? As you can see, it is an ice cold, chilly day here in Utah. I've got my Mountain Ops Yeti, it's a pre-workout, and I'm headed to the gym to start the year off right. I didn't even check, but hopefully they're open. I should probably check. Anyways, that's kind of the first thing I want to do today. I've got some chores to do in the garage. A lot of just knickknacks, so kind of day in the life vlog starts today. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. Guys in the gym. <laughs> Absolutely hate filming in here. But I just remembered I'm using the brand new outfitted joggers. So guess what? They came in. Um, I'm gonna finish up shoulder press right here and give you guys a good look at these in the mirror while I'm standing. But yeah, the new outfitted joggers and the hoodie are here. Um, I'll show you guys more at home. I still have all the inventory at my house, but yeah. A little shy filming in here, so I'll catch you over in the mirror. All right, we're gonna come to the corner, show you guys these real quick. So this is a uh, medium on me. So just like our black joggers, tight cuff, stretchy, uh, four-way stretch material. Everything is stretchy, fitted, a little more slim cut, which is what I like for the gym. But anyways, that's the camo joggers. Um, and we got the same thing in a hoodie. I'll show you guys that when I get home. All right, had a great shoulder workout. Got in all the moves and all the reps. I'm gonna stop by my parents' house. I didn't get to see them for Christmas, so I'm gonna go say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and then just kind of touch base on the house projects, kind of get you guys updated. There's really not many updates. They didn't want to start tearing everything out until after Christmas, because I'm sure they had family over and things like that. So uh, now that it's January, it's time to start planning the my parents remodel a good friend of mine zach is actually going to take charge and handle the project for me so between him my brother is an electrician maybe some of my friends that can do other parts or maybe even some people that have reached out to me on social media and we're going to have this thing done in i don't know two months or so maybe three we'll see but anyways i'm at the old stomping grounds where i grew up let's go inside and check things out we're going to show you some of the stuff that's going to get tore out. These cabinets here in the kitchen. This whole thing. What do they call this? A galley kitchen? I don't know. It's basically just a, a hallway kitchen. You guys can see it's super tight. So my parents have dealt with this with four kids and then a whole new slew of grandkids. But anyways, that's the kitchen. But the kitchen will eventually actually move into this space, which... It was probably ideal for like a dining room. Tearing out the arch wall, tearing out this wall. And this will be a family room right here. We're thinking a big screen TV, whole new floor. Uh, the whole upstairs will have a whole new floor. But yeah, we had some stuff set up. They just set this up real quick to have some family over for Christmas. A little table, a little Christmas tree. But wanted to give you guys at least a little a little look at the before so another thing is these this whole wall these closets are getting ripped out and this will just be like a completely open floor plan depending on if this middle wall is a weight bearing or a support wall of any kind so that'll take an engineer to come and check out but i think it's good because this room has no support wall and the trusses from here all the way down are the exact same so we think we're good on that but we will double check but yeah guys new floor new kitchen everything's gonna be completely different but there's just a little bit of look before we start tearing it out and hopefully we start tearing out this week maybe next week but this project has to get started soon because it's gonna be about two or three months that uh, my parents are gonna be out of a kitchen well I made it back home um, but anyways you guys have a little bit of an idea of the blank canvas we'll be working with at my parents house and if all goes well we'll be tearing that place up this week or next week, like I said. Now I'm just gonna take care of a couple things at the house, which is uh, I got a little area rug so you can wipe your feet off when you get into the shop if it's snowy, which it, it all melted now that I have the stuff. But I got that and an area rug for like the couch and little 
uh, coffee table zone. So I got this area rug. It was cheap. It was only like 35 bucks. Rugs are not cheap. A lot of the nicer ones were like, the ones I really wanted were like 250 bucks. But I settled with this light color one. I wanted a darker one to kind of create some contrast between the floor. But this was cheap, like I said. I got this at Ross. So let's go load this into the garage and see how it looks. Ugh. Barely reach. There we go. Whoops. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. All right, so this, this guy is going to go right here. Move this stuff out of the way and sweep. Hopefully it's big enough. I think it is. All right, first look. New rug. Nice little addition. Gives you somewhere to kick your shoes off. Maybe relax. Have a meeting throw on the big screen whatever but yeah I've always wanted a rug right here and I thought it would blend in more with the with the with the uh, floor already but it's a lot darker than I remember so yeah what do you guys think you like the area rug gives it a more homey feeling when you come into this section like you can just sit down and hang out I got a lot of cleaning up to do cabinet old dog chews, a bunch of random stuff, random stuff, random stuff, random stuff, random stuff. That's what leads me to this. I just bought this like a week ago or before I went out for my Christmas vacation. It's cobalt wide storage cabinet. So it's 72 inches high, 48 inches wide. You got to build it yourself. So I got to build this sucker. I'll probably do that later today. That's going to be a 72 inch high cabinet that I can put all this random junk in. I'll probably put some, uh, not probably, but I've got wheels to put on it too. So it can kind of roll around. I can shift it wherever I need it. But for the most part, I think I'll stuff it in this corner. That way the workout equipment can still swing around and still be 100% useful. Fill in this dead space. It's gray and black, so I think it'll match perfect. But all this random nonsense, it needs somewhere to go because it's a little bit of an eyesore in such a cool space. By the way, brought in the old Honda Four Tracks. Is there anybody who wants to buy it? No joke, 1995 Honda Four Tracks. Original tires. Everyone keeps asking, do you know how many hours are on it? Whoa, what do we have here? Dead spider. I don't know how many hours are on it, but to show you how little it's been used, these are the original tires. And they still roll like a champ. But guys, I'm selling this. I'm looking for a serious collector. Obviously, you know, when you're selling anything, you want to get the most money out of it. It's it's probably not going to get the most if someone's like, yeah, I just want to give it to my kid or trash it. A serious collector, some of, um, like these, I've seen this style in this good a condition go for over 4,000. I know that's a lot. But anyways, if anyone has a serious interest in the 95 Honda four tracks, runs like a champ, let me know. All right, let's go see if we got the tools to do the job, I got everything laid out. Heck, it's gonna end up being about that size. Right there. That's the size of the door. And uh, I bought wheels for it. So let me show you guys what I got. I got these wheels. Hopefully, if I read everything correctly, they will attach to the bottom of this guy right here. Pretty sure this is the base. And these are, what it comes with is like little, uh, floor pads that you can adjust for different lengths, but I wanted them to be on wheels. Had to make a run to Home Depot to get some bolts that I needed to put the wheels on my uh, cabinet. I'll show you guys when I get in the garage. But one thing I love is coming home when there's still some skylight and my outdoor lights turn on. So these are set up on the home automation system to turn on automatically at kind of like last light. So they've probably been on for 10 minutes or so, but I just love the look with the garage american flag everything lit up and they also say that light is the number one deterrent for theft so if you guys have any struggle with theft or i don't know people breaking into cars or anything you definitely want to get some outdoor lights this whole place when these are all on is pretty lit up and then i have some more lights that shine on these trees and it really lights up the entire backyard 
But yeah, that's what the guy that I bought the house from said. Um, light is a huge deterrent for little robberies and thefts and stuff. So anyways, favorite time to come home. But yeah, another favorite of mine is walking in this place. Gosh, I love my garage. Got to thank everyone who helped it made it possible. I originally put these pegs on the uh, bottom of this and I was like, you know, I'll just put the wheels on some other day because I thought that they would be threaded. So these are threaded already. And I thought these holes would be, but they're not. So I have all the bolts, but not the nuts. But anyways, I have the nuts now and I just figured, you know, if I don't do it now, I'm gonna load this thing up and I'll probably never do it. All right guys, new day, new outfit. New outfitted stuff is here. Like I said, we had a hoodie. Wanted to show you guys this before I went to the gym. Those are the joggers I wore yesterday, but yeah, same material, same camel pattern uh, on a, a pullover style hoodie. So super stretch, it's got the hood. It's cold outside, so I got a beanie on. Anyways, this hoodie and that product, hopefully by the time you guys watch this is on the Outfitted website. I'll put it right here, outfitted.com. Guys, please support the old uh, apparel brand if you guys need any workout clothes, a, a tank top, set of joggers or anything. Um, out of all the little side hustles I do, the outfitted stuff is is taking the longest to kind of take off. The good news is people who have bought the stuff, so far the feedback I seem to get from the joggers, the shorts, and the things we've offered already is people seem to like it. Um, but that's all the outfitted inventory. I'm taking that down to the warehouse on Monday. But I just purchased something on Amazon. It's called a digital digital click. It's a converter box so I can take all my old Hi8 videos from when I was a kid and I can convert them to digital, save them on either an SD card or a hard drive. So I bought that on Amazon. It's gonna take a week or so to get here. But I know I've been saying this for years. Like I have so many old tapes that I wanna share with you guys. I just needed to find a way to put it on digital and it's pretty expensive. Um, to send them and have somebody do it for you, but it was only 150 bucks to get the unit So I'm gonna do it myself. Welcome Kyle back on the vlog. What's up guys? Decked out and Got outfitted head to toe already Comfy comfy. Out with the old and with the new. So this this looks like the top. So I wear a medium Usually I always wear a medium top and bottom. So the packaging is a huge step up from before you got it comes in a nice plastic bag feels good and almost like almost like like a rubber like tactile yeah so when you pull it out this is the hoodie the one i'm wearing i like how they squared up yeah they squared it up That's awesome yep we still got uh the classic signage where's our little tag i think it's on the inside get out get fit and of course decide commit succeed and I know it's fun to see the product all said and, and it done. It stretches well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put Good four way there. stretch. So, cool. Kyle's got the black joggers. For those who purchased this one, these are all sold out. The camo ones are built off the same platform. So, if you like those, you're going to love the new camo ones. Material is slightly different, but still very soft, very comfortable. I love how the tag, so the tag just comes off through this little pin, so you don't have to cut or, you know, I hate having rip it off. scissors or rip it and, you know, puts a hole in the fabric. So that's, that's pretty nice. And then you just, yeah, tag's ready to go. So that's sweet. So this is Kyle putting on a medium. Guys, I wear a large. The one I showed you this morning is a large. So far it feels good in the shoulders. <laughs> I like it. That's cool, huh? Especially with the, with this underlayer, you know? You like it? Yeah. So I'm wearing mine with a t-shirt right now. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't like it doesn't feel too tight with the underlayer. It feels mm -hmm. like just a nice like second layer. So we we did the same thing like the the Sentinel, Sentinel long sleeve. It's got somewhat of a swoop in the back just to be a little lower cut. So that's Kyle with a medium again, uh me with a large. I'm pretty much a large top and everything. So large fits me perfect. Little extra length. Length is good on and your I arms. Love the sleeve. Yeah, the sleeves are perfect. Even when I stretch, they just stay right there. They don't like pull up or anything, which is cool. Put the hood on, you'll see that it's not as baggy as the first sample was. We kind of trimmed down on the hood. Yeah, that fits perfect. I mean, for me, it feels yeah, great. It looks good. We're actually taking some photos today just out here, real quick, so we can put them on our website. 
And then we're gonna get updated photos from my nephew in California, the whole white backdrop, fitness model type of thing for the website. So for now, if you guys go to the website today, you're gonna see they're the pictures we literally took right up against that wall. Oh, they slide so nice. They slide so good. I can use one hand to That's open awesome. and close mine. And the drawstring from the black ones is 10 times better. So much better. It's round and it's got a way better yeah. cap. So I'm curious because let me see your mediums. I know those are those are older, the black ones. So you guys, I want to see how they fit you compared to the... Mediums. <laughs> it feels good. So that's a medium again, man. It, it's so close to our black ones. It is close. So, I mean, I like, I like wearing, I think you pull yours. I pull mine right? up. I like them tight on my calves. See, I like them a little loose. I yeah, you pull them down. Just a little bit. But Everyone rocks their joggers a little different. But yeah, they, they stretch good. Oh, dude, you can squat. You yeah, can do like lunges. They don't, like, they don't pull down at all back there. Drawstring, I think, is like a good length. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could tie a knot if you needed to. All right, guys, like I said, um, outfitted.com. The new tops and the new bottoms are live. And then we have a bunch of sunglasses in stock. And from the old stuff, like the Sentinel, we have decent inventory in some of the long sleeves, which the gray one's my favorite. I know Kyle likes the black one a lot. Yeah. But both of them will pair, pair well with the camo bottoms. Mm -hmm. Or like me, you could be rocking like the gray razor shorts with a camo top. When I put them on together, it looked like a dang onesie because the camo <laughs> blended. Like you couldn't tell I had a top and a bottom and it looked like I had a onesie on. Let's do the one. Let's do the and one dudes, here. people were hitting me up on Instagram like, when are the onesies going live? They really <laughs> thought I wasn't like, I thought I was serious. Dude, onesies are making a comeback. Here's the only thing I want to point out to people who are watching the video is the cuff on the bottom. Like, these joggers are just cut slim, but this cuff, while you're pulling them on over your feet, you just be careful that you don't just go ham on it and rip it because they are pretty snug. So if you have a large foot, I would only yeah. just tell people with big feet, be careful pulling that over. And it doesn't it doesn't feel snug now, but no. as you're pulling it over, yeah. you, there it is. You know, it is a tighter fit, a snug fit. But doesn't it look like a onesie? He's just got the outfitted camo onesie. <laughs> the way this whole business works, this is the business. It's just me and Kyle. Is he is like the manufacturing guy. He's the material guy. Like he'll bring it to me and we'll go over cuts. We'll go over materials and sample stuff. But he deals with all the communication back and forth with, with the manufacturer, which is like getting samples done, like, hey, make these changes, bring in the inseam. And there's so much work. And we kind of go over it, but he's the one who manages all of that. So, Kyle, you nailed it. Like, literally, the front and the top and bottom are perfect. Thank you. Hope you guys like them. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. For, if anyone gets this stuff, leave a comment um, or DM me. I would I want feedback, whether it's good or bad. Like, critique them. We're always going to try to improve. Kyle's always already working on new samples, um, shorts. Uh, the shorts we showed you with like the spandex liner on the inside. Mm -hmm. We got another pair of joggers coming, like a different material, a little different cut, and then mm -hmm. a hoodie. A lot of people have asked about a hoodie. Yeah, like a really nice performance hoodie. So we'll have these now. New hoodies coming, new shorts are coming. I think I want to do maybe two styles of shorts in addition to the razor because I think we're going to phase these out. But anyways, the feedback so far on all the outfitted stuff has been really positive. So thanks to those who have supported the brand already. There will be a link to the store right in the top of the description if you want to snag some. Inventory is good for now, but who knows how long it will last. And uh, I don't know if we'll do this camo print again or not. So get them while you can, guys. Sweet. Anyways, see you guys on the next vlog.